Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... This is an installation video for Teramia Alpha 2 single player on Linux and maybe Mac. Hopefully Mac. Right, so we've been getting a lot of requests for how to install Teramia. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, and then you're going to go here, and then you're going to wait. So once you're here, you scroll down a little bit, and scroll down a little bit, and this is the map download. Um, so you're going to right click, open link in the tab, click here. No, you're gonna wait. Three, two, one. Ignore that. Skip the ad. Blah, blah, blah. Now you're gonna click here. So while that's downloading, you can, you can close any um, ad tabs that open up. And now you're gonna get the mods by clicking this link right here. So you're gonna go open link in your tab. Me a mod pack, download, and of course the customary stupid adverts. So while they're downloading, you're gonna want to scroll down a little bit more. Now there are two texture packs. You can get a cartoony texture pack or a realistic texture pack. We want the realistic one, so we're gonna right click, open link in your tab. So you're going to be thrown to this page, we've zoomed it in so that you can see. You're going to scroll down a bit, and you're going to see this highlighted text. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on this one, because it's for 1.7. So you're going to click that. You're going to click that. And this is going to open to an ad. So now we've got to go and get Forge. So you're going to right click on, you're going to scroll down a little from where you are, and you're going to right click on this link, and then you're going to go to my, go to that window. You're going to go to this one, click on 1.7.2. Then, you're not going to click on this one, you're going to click on this one, because this one might not be safe. So you're going to want installer. Now the other option there is Windows installer, so for Windows people would go that way, but we do installer, not Installer when or whatever the one to the right of it. And like AdFly, there's a little thing up here that you have to click. So you're going to keep the jar file. And you're going to wait for that. You're going to close down ads. There we are. You're going to go back here. And these are the directions. So you want to go to your file directories. And you're going to want to make sure you can see this, because these are the instructions. So you're going to go Downloads, create a new folder, and let's just title it Teramia. So now we're going to select... Just make sure these downloads are done before you drag them, because if yes. they're not done, we're in trouble. None of them are done yet. So we should just wait. You want these, these green things, to make a complete circle. Or you want the number out of number of megabytes to, e to be both the same numbers. Because if they're the same numbers, they're done. Some of them are close, like this one. This is 0. 0.6 megabytes away. And this one's done. So Teramia Ultimate, the map, is done. Remember that name, because if you drag and drop the wrong one, so, Teramia Ultimate. Teramia Ultimate. See, and it tells you there, CR download at the end. Now, every browser is a different way of doing that, but this is Chrome's way. Chrome download. So, as long as it says Chrome download there, you're not done. So, here's Teramia Ultimate. It was hidden by my folder that I created. So, we're going to put that in Teramia. This one is done. So, if we drag this in ter into Teramia, Go back. For some reason, it wants to rename it. I, I don't want to rename it. Um, now we're just gonna wait a little bit longer. So if we go back into here, we'll see that the mod pack is done. We're gonna drag that into Teramia, and we should be able to see Forge. Yes. 
So now we have our Tarabi folder. So now what do we do, Dad? First, we want to extract things. So let us just open a new tab here for the Minecraft folder. And Aiden's already shown you how to do the hidden files to show it. I just want to show you here. Okay, let's go back to the instructions. So they don't tell you what really what to do with the forge, but you can see here here's a video of how to install forge. But this is for Windows. So we don't want to follow this procedure. Basically what it comes down to is to run the installer, which we got there, right? It says installer. So we're gonna start by going to command line and we're gonna run it with Java. Um, so we're gonna say... This is where it gets complicated. Let's go to our downloads folder and I named it Dramia. And let's just look what's in there. Okay, so you wanna say Java dash jar and then left double click and middle click there to paste it. Simple copy paste technique. So th this should bring up a graphical installer, which is that one. Now here we we're just gonna do the client for for um, single player mode. If you want to install a server, you would go this way. You would click that button. And the procedure would be slightly different. Yeah. If if anybody wants that a video on that, we can we can make one. Um, you'll see here by default it'll pick your home folder of your user account dot Minecraft. Anybody that's ever played this on Linux or maybe Mac might be familiar with that. But so the default there is fine for us. So it'll install. Okay, I'm just gonna click on OK here. Okay. That was easy. Now what you should see on the versions maybe. Yeah, here's the here's the new fortune. This is in your Minecraft folder, right? Dot Minecraft versions. You should see this new folder now. Let's see what they say. Put the mod pack in your Minecraft mod folder. So so let's do that next. So we're done with step one. We're gonna do step two. We need the filer for that. And I just want to go back here. So the mods is this guy, right? Uh, yeah. So we want to open it. I, I right clicked on it. We want to open with Archive Manager. Or 7-zip if you have it. Yeah. We're going to extract this. And it should create a folder with this name where we are at. So right in this folder here. Let's see if that happens. Okay, so you'll see there's the new folder for the mods. What's it say there? Put the mod back into your Minecraft mod folder. Let's just see what's in here. Ah. So you'll see it's already got a folder and in there is all your mods. If you go here to our Minecraft folder. Archimedes ships. You'll see there's no mods here. Yeah. No, no mod folder. So what we will do here is we'll go one up and we'll copy this one. And don't believe what it says here. It's not a mod folder, it's mods, like it is there. So the instructions is a little wrong there, but that's fine. We'll come here and we'll paste it. Control V will paste it for us. Boop. And there it is. And there's our mods. So we're done with the first two steps. Now we need to put the map into the safe folder. And before we can do that, we need, need to extract it. Um, yeah. uh, the map is so bad, yeah. this guy. Open. We're going to use this one. And we're going to just extract it here. And it is done. And you'll see it's created a new 
folder here. And this is very typical of any Minecraft map if you ever looked at all those folders and files that it Wait, creates. Wait, Wyvern Lair? Oh no. <laughs> Let's not play this Jeromia. I'm gonna just copy the name that's, that's here. And they say put it in the save folder. There's no such thing as a save folder in Minecraft. There is. There's a save. Saves. Folder. Now this folder is nice. See, I can just right click here and say paste into folder. So you don't have to go into the folder. Maybe his S button was broken for those two steps. Just to verify, there it is. The one thing we haven't done yet is the resource pack, right? Yes. We want to extract it as well. I should have just done it here. Extract, great folder there. This is called Mojo. Mojo Craft. Craft. Craft, uh, yeah, nice. A. And extract. I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Going to go back to our Minecraft folder. Resource packs. And there's our current resource pack for our Ramia. Paste there. Done. Now everything is done except we need to run it. Typically, I run batch files, batch script files, in other words. Let's just go back to my home folder. So this is the guy I typically run, run Minecraft client. So let's just more it, let's view it in other words. And he's created like a, a script so that when you type in dot slash run underscore mc underscore client, then it'll run the client. He's done that with magic, I assume, because I can't do it, so magic. Okay, so I'm just going to run any version of Minecraft. You'll see I picked this one just because it's close. Somehow I don't have 172 in here. You can run the latest version. You can run 1.8. doesn't matter. I just want to middle click there. So this is Minecraft's own launcher. Typically we run magic launcher, but let me just show you how to do this. So you guys should be familiar now. I've already selected it here, but I'm just going to take you through. Do a new profile. You call it Tertremia. And here you want to select the right version of Forge. It's the 1.7.2 version. Okay, so let's save that. We're going to select... We could have done that one, but let's do... This one. Play it. And you will need an account for this. Yep. Sadly. So the, this might take a little bit. It will go install version 172 if you don't have it. And you might see stuff to that effect in the window here where you called it from. Just be patient. Let's first fix the, the resource pack to the one that's suggested. And there you go. Okay, let's take that one out. I think this one will take effect now. Might take a little bit for it to load it up. On my computer this takes forever. Like It's five minutes of waiting. And this one's bad. I'm just gonna make this nice and big as well so we can see what's going on before we get into the game. Okay. Single player. You see it's, it's version 0.9.4 beta, the mod pack edition, that's the one that you want. We had a lot of mess ups on that on that 50 sub special. Okay, let's play it. And yes, the words are supposed to look like they've been eaten away. This the, is how you start off the game. Yeah, this is a little new, there's an NPC there. Right, so. 
Oh, you woke up. I'm glad to see that you recovered. You were in a really worse health condition when I found your stranded body on the beach. You were senseless for about 14 days, but I prayed and tried my best to heal you. I'm a poor and humble man, but I should have some old equipment that could help you as a start. I couldn't find any papers in your bag. Tell me more about yourself and I will find the right gear for you. And we will leave it there, because you can choose your class. Have fun with it, guys. Glad you watched it. If you liked it, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!